Hello everybody, happy Monday and, and welcome to our Milan office. I'm Elisa Biagioni and I'm a brand manager on the Midland brand. I'm very happy to be here today together with Dr. Ravaldi uh, because we are going to start our nutrition journey through healthy eating. Healthy eating is one of those things we all can do to live a better life. And Dr. Ravaldi is a very popular nutritionist who has been consulting for many years uh, with very popular uh, football teams like AC Milan, Paris Saint-Germain, Real Madrid, but also he has been consulting with many common people like us for have a better understanding of how to live better lives. So thank you so much, Dr. Ravaldi, for being here today with us. Thank you, Elisa, uh, and welcome everybody. I'm uh, really happy to be here with uh, Nutrilite and uh, just start uh, this journey around uh, the nutrition world. Thank you, Dr. Avaldi. So Dr. Avaldi is going to be with us for four weeks and every week we're going to cover different pillars of nutrition. So let's start our journey with a very, very <coughs> basic question. What is a balanced diet, Dr. Avaldi? Uh, well, balanced diet is the key of well-being. What does it mean? That with a balanced diet we can introduce all the macros we really need and also, also the micronutrients we really need. But uh, just to understand, macros are carbs, proteins, and fats. On the other hand, we have micronutrients, which are vitamins and minerals. So it's important to introduce all these macros and micronutrients in each meal. And uh, following the suggestion that the Mediterranean diet can provide us, it's important because the Mediterranean diet you can have uh, the right portion of uh, uh, carbos, that's about 50 to 60 percent, the right portion of proteins, that means uh, 10 to 20 percent of uh, uh, proteins, and the right portion also for fats, it's about 20 to 30 percent of fats too. Thank you so much, Dr. Avaldi, for this helpful explanation. So, uh, what, why macronutrients are so important for our body? Macronutrients are very, very important for our body because uh, macros, nutrients as uh, carbos, is the first, uh, the first source of energy for our body. Our brain can really work at its best with sugars coming from carbs. And uh, we can have uh, two different kinds of carbs. The so-called complex carbs, which are pasta, rice, and other cereals, and the simple carbs, which are sugar, milk, honey, and fruits, considering that the fructose is the sugar of the uh, fruit. The second half, we have, we have also the proteins. Proteins are the are very important uh, macros because uh, our body cannot store protein inside uh, our body. And uh, protein, just uh, think about a wall. The protein is the, is the, is the wall, the, our structure of our body. And uh, in uh, this wall, uh, we have uh, bricks. Uh, and every time we remove a brick from this wall, we must replace it with another brick. And uh, bricks are the amino acids that are contained in the protein. Last but not least, uh, it's very important also to consider the fats. Because fats, we have three different kinds of fats, like uh, unsaturated fats coming from butter and dairy products, and uh, monounsaturated fats, for example, of the oil. At the end, we have also polyunsaturated fats that are nuts, seeds, and of course, also fish. I forgot to also uh, mm, to underline that we have two different kinds of protein, the plant protein and the animal protein. It's important, uh, this, uh, this difference because plant protein are more digestible, contains less fats, contains less calories and also salts. So it's very important to combine in the same meal both animal protein and plant protein. 
So thank you so much for this uh, explanation of macros. And I wanted to ask you, Dr. Avaldi, uh, can we say that protein are for sporty people only? It's not completely true uh, because uh, we perfectly know that sporty people need much more protein than inactive people. But uh, it's not uh, necessary you, have, you are sporty people. You, you must introduce in uh, each meal the right, uh, quote, the right amount of uh, uh, protein. Because uh, protein, as I, as I said before, cannot be stored inside our, our body. So not matter your lifestyle, your age, you must eat protein in, uh, in, each, in, each, in each meal. And uh, this is the reason why we must follow the Mediterranean diet. Because in the Mediterranean diet, you can see that, uh, as I mentioned before, we introduce the right amount of protein. But remember, a very important note, because uh, uh, people think that uh, if I eat 100 grams of chicken, I introduce in my body 100 grams of protein. It's not completely true. It's false. Why? Because 100 grams of chicken is about only, only 30 grams of protein. That's so helpful, Dr. Avalli. This is an incredibly helpful explanation because, I mean, there are so many misbeliefs about protein in general. For example, that protein may damage kidney, that protein uh, needs to be split with carbs and so on. Can you please explain us, can you please lead us through this um, misbelief about protein? Unfortunately, I perfectly know uh, that uh, uh, some nutritionists told people to split proteins and carbs inside the same meal. It's not it's, it's unbelievable that some professionalist can tell this because it's completely true. In, the, in the each meal, as our the Mediterranean diet suggests us, it's important to introduce the right amount of carbon, the right amount of proteins and fats. So please do not split carbs from proteins in each meal. And the other important note is that proteins don't damage your kidneys. But uh, if you drink uh, water just enough, about uh, two liters a day, more or less, uh, it's important because uh, this uh, water helps your kidneys uh, to work at their best and uh, to clean our body from the uh, nitrogenous waste coming from uh, protein. And remember, as I said before, that the right combination of animal protein and plant protein can help your kidneys work, work at their best. I have another question for you, Dr. Avaldi. We have been discussing <coughs> the importance of macronutrients, but what about micronutrients? Why are they so important for our body too? Uh, I said before that macronutrients are very important, but uh, Micronutrients are important as well. Micronutrients uh, are vitamins and minerals. And uh, you can find uh, micronutrients in fruits and in vegetables. And it's very important because they act as coenzymes inside our body and help, and help our, healthy, our, sorry, our cells keep healthy. So, it's important also to, to add that uh, you can find in vegetables also the, fruit, the phytonutrients. Phytonutrients are very important because they act as an antioxidant that can uh, help you to face all the stress you have during the day. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the previous explanation and I wanted to add something more to this. So, um, what about the essential uh, intake that we should have on a daily base? What, which are the, the essential ingredients that we should get? So, following the Mediterranean diet, it's important to introduce in each meal the macros, carbs, fats and proteins. 
But don't forget to introduce also micronutrients that are salts, sorry, minerals, vitamins, and phytonutrients. And don't forget to introduce also omega-3. Omega-3 is a natural compound, compound a natural anti-inflammatory compound that can help the function of your of our sorry, cardiovascular system. Thank you, Dr. Avaldi, for this explanation today. And thank you so much for being with us, all of you today. Hope this uh, journey will be re really helpful to you guys.